Hi guys, this is your naturalist Harris Brooker here and in this video I'm going to show you a compilation of uh, a handful of uh, footage that I, I took when I went to Sierra Leone, West Africa with the Bird Tour Company Bird Quest and bring to you some of the, the delights that uh, West Africa can have. Now, I remember when I was selecting a bird quest trip to go on, I uh, initially wanted to go to Zambia for African pittas, but that one was uh, full. Uh, I later wanted to go to South Africa, but that one was uh, proving a bit too dear and I didn't think the cost of that trip uh, included the, the flights. So that one was abandoned. And then I came across uh, the advertised trip to Sierra Leone, uh, which uh, it was uh, one of the more exotic uh, options on offer. Um, there was the option to go to Sri Lanka uh, and um, I think also Southern Ecuador and I think possibly also Hungary and a couple of other places that were a bit too dear for me, like Lord Howe Island in Australia. Uh, so I decided to go for Sierra Leone because it's a country that relatively few people have visited and uh, it's got some nice uh, Upper Guinea specialties. It's part of the, um, the Upper Guinea region and there's a lot of birds there that are endemic to the Upper Guinea region and a couple of mammals too, uh, some of which um, I'm going to be showing you. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed my trip to Sierra Leone. I do have another video um, that shows uh, a compilation of images of various things that I uh, was able to photograph there. Um, it would be absolutely lovely if I could go back to uh, Sierra Leone or, well, any any kind of country like that, really. Uh, so, you know, if, if, you, uh, if you like what you see in this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, share. My, my channel is called uh, Harris Brooker, and together we can make this a reality and we could make uh, these videos in Sierra Leone. Uh, and now that I've been to Sierra Leone, now that I've been to Africa, it means that I'll have a, a much more solid uh, knowledge of African wildlife. So uh, enjoy this video and if you have any queries or anything you want to ask me, please leave it in the comments. Um, also, if you have any identification uh, questions for me regarding birds or any other kind of wildlife, you know, theoretically from anywhere in the world, you know, do ask me. And if I can't uh, solve it, I could forward it to, uh, to somebody who could. And then that means that you learn and I learn at the same time. Because remember, it's, it's, it's also about learning with me as well as me teaching you. Uh, so enjoy this video. I hope you like it. Uh, I only regret not taking more footage, but you know, the, the electricity supply over there was a bit unreliable, so one had to save their power. So uh, sit back and enjoy. Yeah, fantastic view. Huh? Yeah, the bird at the back is a young bird, yeah? not as colourful yet. <laughs> the tons of starlings do their stuff, though, Mark. Mm. 
Hi, yeah, calling. <laughs> you have to see the eye colors now. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> when you shoot a lead, you don't need to shoot a lead. You need to shoot a lead over 1500 years. You see the talent. Oh, they got white on the cheek, on the neck. And that's it from this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Harris Broker. And also don't forget to share. And if you have any questions in the comments, please leave it uh, in there. And I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, it, was, it was nice uh, compiling this uh, together because uh, some of the birds in and wildlife in that part of the world are just amazing. You know, they're, they're, they're world class as far as I'm concerned. Um, the, the red colobus monkeys, I mean, I think they were like the first monkey species I'd ever seen. Uh, other things like the brown cheeked hornbills that I uh, showed you earlier and the, the pied colobus monkeys, the, the village weavers. I had technically seen village weavers in uh, Portugal uh, before coming to Sierra Leone. Um, the one one thing that we well, a couple of things that we didn't manage to see were uh, we heard chimpanzees on that trip, but uh, we only managed to hear them. Um, we heard them scream. We heard them drum on trees. We even got to see the stones that they used to break open nuts um, and another creature that we did try for was the pygmy hippo uh, which is another very rare animal only lives in the upper guinea uh, region and i think possibly also the the niger river uh, you know it's it's about the size of a domestic pig smaller, much shyer than the regular hippos. And because they're hunted so much, that means they're very shy. So we only managed to see tracks of, uh, of those um, and maybe some droppings as well. But we did give it a go on a boat trip. And needless to say, if we had found a pygmy hippo and I was able to film it, I would have done and I would have uh, shown you guys uh, a pygmy hippo, but alas, that that uh, isn't uh, going to happen. But if you want to have more videos in Sierra Leone, if you want 
uh, me to go back there, then s subscribing is one of the best things that you can do to make that possible. I mean, I can't, couldn't guarantee that we'd get a pygmy hippo, but we could certainly give it another go and and see what else we can film, whether we could get chimpanzees as well. Yeah, the, 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 jury's, the jury's out there, and there's loads of other places that I'd like to, to see as well. Uh, so, like I say, subscribe to my channel, and the chances of, of these things happening definitely do increase, guys. So this is your naturalist, Harris Brooker, signing off. Life is good.